Uh, hello and welcome to Mammoth Lakes. Uh, my name is Steve Searles. Um, I work for my community here in the Mammoth Lakes Police Department. Um, I work with all wildlife, but what I seem to be known for is working with black bears. Every once in a while we have a bear that is uh, nesting or sleeping or denning in a place that isn't appropriate. Um, we have an example of that today and so we're going to go take a look and ask this bear to move on to a more appropriate spot for him to bed up. What should we expect to see? Because you were saying we might expect to see the bear um, might be very thin, you know, because it's just coming out you know, of hibernation. The, uh, we were, we're just going into the springtime. The snow's just starting to melt here at this elevation. Uh, this bear hasn't eaten in five months, and so he's lost, you know, probably 40% of his body weight. But um, I was with him yesterday. He's looking good. Uh, he's an uh, old, old favorite of mine, a male adult. Uh, he's about... 12 years old now, and so uh, he's just a member of our community. Let's go. see him but I think that's his back right there through those posts. Okay. He's sound asleep right there in his nest. Hey, hey, wake up, let's go, wake up, come on, come on, let's go, wake up, come on, let's go, you can't stay here, you know that, go on now, let's go in the woods, let's go, no, go on that way. Go on that way. Go on now, move. Good boy, good boy. Go on. He's now 450. So what do we just see? Well, um, just a good bear, you know, and I, I've never met a bad bear. And um, Give him an opportunity, uh, educate him, let him know. I've been with this bear for many years, so he knows my tone of voice, uh, that he needs to move on. I didn't need to fire a rubber bullet or a bean bag at him. He complied and did exactly what I asked him to do. How'd you get started? Uh, you know, I, I'm just the luckiest guy you'll ever meet. Um, my community had faith in me, let me try some different things. Um, I had no idea that it'd be as successful as it is today. So from what I hear, you went from asking to kill bears to figuring out a way to actually coexist with bears. You know, we have, uh, because we live in such prime uh, bear habitat, um, we have an abundance of bears in this area, about one per square mile. Um, one of the 
you know, obvious things was to cull the bears and bring those numbers down. Um, we never had to resort to that. Uh, we do have uh, a full capacity for the habitat, but uh, by keeping these bears alive, it doesn't allow other bears to move into our community. Uh, we actually have the fox garden, the hen house. Uh, our bears are an asset to us, uh, not a liability. And you talk about how the community actually embraces the bears? Yeah, there's uh, everybody in town agrees about one thing, and that's the wildlife. And uh, the, the, the bear is just represents all, all that we care about in our town. Talk about the intelligence of the bear. You know, bear, bears are incredibly intelligent. Uh, they can learn um, bad habits or good habits very quickly. As you just saw and observed, um, you know, the huge bear that could kick my butt uh, doing exactly what I asked him to do. So he's learned good habits over the years and just really, really Ill, easy to manage. So they're, you know, I work with the two-legged animal and the four-legged animal. Uh, some say that the four-legged is smarter than the two. Do you have any tips for anyone out there who's going hiking or camping and they come across a bear? You know, just don't feed them. That's the whole thing in a nutshell is don't feed bears and uh, you won't have issues. Um, when you see a bear, enjoy yourself. Uh, thank your God. Um, hug your kids, kiss your wife. It's a beautiful thing to see. Uh, don't approach any wild animals. Always give them, you know, um, plenty of room to move away from you. Don't corner them or, or uh, get too close to them. But other than that, I get that question a few times a day. I encourage people to enjoy it.